Peacock 109 uh, again doing another uh, airsoft review. Uh, this time it's on my JGG36C Generation 4 Advanced model. Um, most of the regular ones are usually made out of an ABS plastic. This one is made out of a nylon polymer. Okay. Um, so first off, the whole gun is pretty much plastic, but it's a really hard solid plastic that feels absolutely, I don't know, fantastic in your hands. Uh, foregrip does not come with, so I'm just going to strip everything that doesn't come with it, except for the scope, because that's a pain. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the whole gun. So you have your folding stock, which is, when you press this button right here, and then it folds over, and then there's a, a notch right here, and you want to lift onto it, don't just slam it in, you want to lift and then put it on. Same when you're taking it off, don't just rip it out, pull up and pull out. Um, uh, it's got a rubber butt pad, mostly like, you know, any other one. It has this unique little, uh, unique little holes that you can put the, um, screws, such as this one, which I'll get into, but it's a nice little screw thing that you can put in there so you don't have to lose your screws when you're disassembling the gun on the field. Um, those are the plastic. 470 round, or round high capacity mag, plastic, clear, hazy. I don't really like it. I bought an extra one, slightly darker, a little bit, you know, still see-through, but it's much darker, better texture, and it feels cool. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep the mag out. Um, it has the front, the back flip-up sight. You may not be able to see it because of the scope, but you have the back flip-up sight, so there's the big one, and then that's the littler one. I like the littler one because it's really solid, and then you have the front sight, which is, you know, any other regular G36 sight. Scope, of course, doesn't come with it. Uh, this scope is a Barska. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's a one-time zoom, but uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, you have your hop-up right here. You have to pull this lever right here. It is ambidextrous, so you can pull it from both sides, and you just pull it back, and it, it locks open. Uh, if you're purchasing this gun, another cool little thing that you can do is you can push it forward without, you know, pulling it to the side. Just push it back, and it locks in place if you push it down. Um, mine has a specific problem that sometimes it won't go all the way. It'll only go, like, up to here, and then I can't lock it in place, but that's not much, a big, much of a big deal, but... Right now it's working just fine, but uh, that probably won't happen to yours. It was just a manufacturer defect. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. You have your top rail goes all the way across. Uh, like I said, or what I didn't say about the front and back sight, they're both metal. Um, you have let's see, you have the selector switch. Just a regular selector switch, uh, three modes, so safe, semi, fully auto. Now, what ambidextrous means is that you can access it from both sides, meaning that I can do this from both sides, like I said. Um, personally, I like to keep it on auto because most of the time I keep my battery out. Uh, I did order more parts for this, so... If I ever do another review on this, it'll probably have more parts on it. Uh, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, let's see, what else did I miss? Regular G36 uh, stock. If you want to get to the uh, motor or the, um, the gearbox, or no, 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 the motor, uh, you go, you would screw that open. Uh, regular, you know, just a regular uh, G36. Uh, mag release, just that little flip button. Uh, you can change this out for an M4. This is the magwell. You can pop this little pin out right here. You pop this like pin right here, and uh, you know, you pop it out, and this will come off. Uh, which is weird because uh, my model, uh, the one that this ran, it was it's a push pin. Most of them have a um, Allen key pin. So you'd have to, you know, screw it out. But mine is just, you know, take like a pen and a hammer and you just nail it out. Um, 
Yeah, but what you would do is you just slide this off by a SOCOM Gear M4 G36 Mag uh, Magwell conversion kit, and it and you know you put that on, put the screw back in, and it'll take M4 mags. Um, that's a, really another cool feature, but you know this gun is really, really, really customizable. That's what I like about it. So so unique, not you know. Uh, this is a JG, so not the original J or uh, HK. HK is you know an awesome brand, but this one was slightly cheaper, and you know they all kind of feel the same to me. So, and I have hold the, held the real version. I have to say that this does feel pretty realistic. I mean, on the case of the real steel version, also made by H and H and K. Uh, Heckler and Coke, if you were wondering. Um, let's see, what else did I miss? You have um, you have screw holes so that you can put more another rail right here, like the one on the bottom. You can put one right here and right here. Uh, that's pretty cool because uh, actually that's what I also what I ordered. Uh, it doesn't come till like March fifteenth, but um, yeah, that might take a while. So to take your battery out. You would want to push this pin right here on the side. I want to pop that out. Make sure I don't, I don't lose it. Then you'd slide this off. Uh, it takes a while to get used to, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. So yeah, it just slides right on. Or right off, I mean. And then you have this. Now, this is... I'm not actually sure if this is a male or female, but... Uh, it is something. So, uh, what you would do is you is you would take well not that one. You'd take the battery that comes with an 8.4. I think this is a 1200 milliamp battery. For some reason, this uh, oh yeah, 1100 milliamp battery. For some reason, this has a 1.2 volt. But I know that's obviously wrong because they don't make 1.2 volts, or at least I'm not aware of in this size. Um, but yeah. What you would do is you would take the connector cord, and I think this is female, I think this is male, but, you know, that's just a hunch. And you would take it, and you would match the size of the hole, or the shape of the hole, to, you know, that shape. And you would come around, and you would put it, and it doesn't just go in wherever you like. You have to put it in a certain spot, and the bottom, or the round part, has to go right here. And then you would curl this around and it would, the cord has to be, it has to be on this little side part right here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it has to come like right here. Once you do that, then you take this, take that, and you slide it over, and it slides right back on like that. Eh, sometimes it's a tight fit, but I've gotten so used to it that it doesn't really matter. Now, uh... I will show you, so this is safe, this is semi, and this is fully off. Battery is not fully charged, so it is not on the full fire rate, but whatever. Let's see, what else did I forget about this gun? Uh, there actually are different, oh, uh, let's see. So, the a whole outer barrel, or the whole outer piece is metal, like I said. I mean, it's uh, plastic, like I said. Uh, the trigger is metal, the selector switch is metal, this is metal, this is metal, this is also metal, but this doesn't come with it. Uh, this piece is plastic, the rest is plastic, except for the rails, and this piece right here. And, of course, the bolts and stuff. Um, now, the, I did, actually didn't explain the hop-up very well, but, okay, so, I'm actually, I'm gonna lock it. So, with the hop-up... You have, right here, you have this little wheel. I'm actually not sure which direction it is to change it, but this little wheel, you either dial it up, I'm not sure what that is, or dial it down, also don't know what that is. I know what it does, it makes it hop up or not, but I'm really not sure which way is up and which way is down for this, but, you know, I don't really care, because I just leave it off hop up. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Oh, the uh, sling points. You have actually you have uh, three sling points. You have two here. I mean, 
uh, three, no, four sling points, three different ones. This one has two. Uh, it's a metal piece on the edge of the gun. You can take it off if you want. Personally, I think it looks cooler with it. Um, you have one. So this piece right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, then there is, let's see, where's the other one? The other one is right here on this piece right here. Then you have the one right here. Now this one, I personally I take my uh, one point sling and I connect it to this one and sling it over my shoulder. But you know, do whatever you like. Uh, there's not much more to say about this gun. I do have actually one quick question. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but if you see in this uh, through the trigger hole, I guess you could see it, say, but uh, there's a little piece right here and I have absolutely no idea it's like a button but I don't know what it does if you know what that does or if your G36 has that then please let me know because I'm dying to know and the I just realized that I forgot about the the uh, holes on the bottom of the stock which I will show now now as you can see there are four holes one here one here one here and one here this is the screw that went through here to keep the uh, handguard in place. Now what you would do is you would take it and you pop it in. Now as you can see it's not coming out, it's, it's not going anywhere. Only way you're ever going to get it out is to pull it. Simple. It's a very, uh, very good thing if people want to you know, really mess with their gun in the, on the field. Personally, I just switched to my sidearm, which is broken. <laughs> uh, but I am ordering a new one. The, you can take the front and the rear sight off uh, through a little pin right here. I've taken them off twice, I think. Uh, but once I get a scope, I'm just going to get, you know, extended rings. And uh, then I can just see through it. But, um, yeah, that, that about sums up the gun. Uh, if you have any more questions or things that I didn't point out, um, please, please let me know. Uh, I do recommend Airsoft Megastore, um, because, mostly just because they have the most awesome prices, but, uh, you know, it's your choice, choose what you want to do, but, personally, like I said, Airsoft Megastore. Uh, thanks, and, uh, Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Not subscribe, subscribe, but uh, yeah, do all that.